What's happening people, it's your boy DatYoungBull here bringing you some release day tips for Call of Duty Ghosts. Now I know whenever you start a new Call of Duty, it's always overwhelming deciding what the best custom class is or when you unlock the guns, you know, what's the best gun or what are the best attachments or whatever. So I want to take some of that guesswork out. So when you start the game, you go into multiplayer, you're going to hit create a soldier and then an option is going to pop up saying assault. QCB, Marksman, whatever. You're going to go with Assault, and I'll explain why in one second. I can't show you here because this is on my account. You know what I mean? So I can't, like, go back and redo it. But there, there's five different, um, five different, like, class options, and you're going to select Assault. Now, this right here is the default Assault class, and it's a very good class, and I want to explain why. The default gun, the SA-805, is an extremely good gun. Just simply put, compared to the rest of the Assault Rifles, it's very comparable. Um, you know, it's a full auto weapon, and it, it just it serves me well. It's got good damage, good rate of fire, good accuracy. I, I just, I like it a lot. I think it's a great gun. Um, but in terms of the attachments and everything, I'm going to show you what it is you can do once you actually choose your default class, what to, um, what to spend your squad points on to get the most out of the class, so that way you can continue getting more and more kills and getting higher point games and whatnot. So first things first, when you get enough squad points, uh, you're going to want to go... And get rid of the red dot. The iron slates are beautiful on this gun. It's not needed. I would put that on the silencer. Because uh, staying off the map is valuable in a game like Ghost where you die so fast. And then the next thing after that I would do is invest in the extended mags instead of the foregrip. Again, the recoil, just like the iron sights, they're great on this gun. You don't need anything to buff it. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, I found with a 30-round clip, I can easily kill two guys. And with good accuracy, I can even kill three guys off of one clip. So with a 45 round clip, that's really going to be able to handle up to four people. And chances are you're not going to find that without, you know, having reloaded in between. So with that in mind, I definitely think you can afford to lose the secondary. Okay. And that's going to free up slots for something else that I want to talk about. Now, when it comes to lethal and tactical, eh, that's sort of personal preference. You could keep them both, get rid of one, get rid of the other, or get rid of them. Uh, both, you know, whatever you want. Personality keeping the lethal. So I'm going to get rid of the tactical. Now, what this is going to do for us, right? So you have a really good assault rifle. You're going to stay off the map when you shoot. And you're going to have a lot of ammo in the clip. So you're not going to need a secondary. And then you have a lethal um, a lethal grenade. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to open up extra perk slots, okay? Now, the ones you have uh, by default for this class are Marathon, which is unlimited sprint. Quick draw, which is faster aiming. Uh, extra tactical, which gives you an extra tactical, as it says, and fully loaded, so you start with maximum am ammo capacity. Well, since we drop the tactical, we definitely can get rid of extra tactical. So that gives us a free perk, right? Next thing is fully loaded. This is kind of personal preference. You know, if, if you really love your one gun and you feel confident that you're never going to die, um, you know, keep it on if you want. I don't think it's needed. So this is what I'm going to suggest you do, right? There's two basic setups here. And I'm going to suggest uh, you get rid of those two. Uh, and then the next things you're going to want to purchase are off the grid. Okay. What that does is it makes it so you're undetectable by satcoms and radar pings. Now think about it. This is, you know, the beginning of the game. Everybody has satcom because it is by default a strike. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's by default one of the strike package assault kill streaks. So being able to stay off the radar by the satcoms is huge. Couple that with the silencer and they won't see when you're shooting either which brings me to the next point if you get takedown you're unstoppable when when you use takedown you know um you know like when an enemy kills one of your teammates that skull pops up showing you where your teammate died takedown gets rid of that you know what i'm saying so when you kill an enemy they're not going to see a skull where their teammate died so when you're using a silencer you won't be seen when you're shooting when you're using off the grid you won't be seen when enemy satcoms are up and when you're using takedown they won't even see or get any sort of notification when you have killed one of their teammates so you know you're literally like a ghost uh, see what I did there um, and anyways that ultimately frees you up with one extra slot and you can you know personally I would go with ready up or on the go um, you know, I'm a rusher, so I go with on the go, but I would definitely understand if you'd want to stick with ready up either or. Now, the second type of setup I do, you know, if you go through this and you decide you like it, or if you just want to try something different, this is just an overall very good class. It's a very stealthy class, but very rush based, as you can see. You know, faster aiming, you got marathon, you have on the go, so you can rush while remaining stealthy, and that's huge. Um, I, I think that's great being a rusher. But something else you can do, you know, if you're a little bit more fancy or whatever. 
is invest in something like Dead Silence or Amplify. Now I would suggest Dead Silence if you don't have a headset because I guarantee everyone else is going to be sound whoring you which means that they'll be able to hear your footsteps so you won't be able to notice having Dead Silence on like you would with Steady Aim. It's not going to be a, an immediate thing, you know what I'm saying? But I guarantee you you'll die less. If you do have a headset I suggest going with Amplify because with Dead Silence you'll still hear your teammates footsteps but with Amplify well, while you will hear your teammates footsteps the enemy's footsteps are extra loud so it's very clear when you're hearing an enemy versus a teammate. So I think that disti that distinction is important. So using Amplify is important. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't go with both. One or the other is fine. Um, you know, right now on one of my classes, I'm rocking off the grid with Amplify, Marathon, On the Run, and what's the other one? Uh, take. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm running on one of my classes right now, and it's serving me very well. Um, now, I haven't used ICU, I haven't used Dead Eye, I haven't used Steady Aim. Those are a few things I haven't used. But this is a basic skeleton of how I, the, the core class I think you should pick when you're starting out. And the core perks, attachments, and weapons and whatnot that I think you should embrace or stay away from. Um, in order to make the most out of your squad points and continue leveling up and getting a lot of uh, kills. Without wasting squad points on things that aren't necessarily what you're gonna like you know what I'm saying so anyways guys hopefully this video I hope you get some more kills and level up really fast um, you know I'd like to see all my subscribers out there poning those news you know what I'm saying so let me know how it goes for you and uh, just let me know in the comments any other Call of Duty Ghost videos you'd like to see alright guys have a great day peace